Hi, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care. And I want to talk to you today about something that can be kind of annoying to those of us who are heading into our later 50s and to menopause. I'm 57 and something that started to really bother me in my 50s and concern me was my neck. I wanted my neck to stay beautiful. I think we all do want to keep our neck as beautiful for as long as we can. And the most important thing always to me with aging is that the skin looks healthy. We're all going to get more and more lines. We're, we're going to age, but if the skin is healthy and glowing, I'm happy. So earlier this year, I was noticing that my neck was just not having that glowiness that I wanted to see. So I started doing more research into what's going on with the tissues in the neck. What I was seeing is that the tissues looked like, it looked like the pores were sagging. So it was almost like the skin texture was looking a little mushy and a little weak and droopy. And um, I knew that that had to be collagen, elastin, but what else? I was thinking, what, what else is going on here? What can I do more for that neck area? So I did a deeper dive into collagen, elastin, and what those do. And of course, um, I thought of all of you out there, and I always want to share any information I get with all of you, because that's what Art of Skin Care is about. It's about educating um, our clients so that you can be your own skincare professional and that you can have healthy and beautiful and glowing skin as well. So what I discovered is that collagen is that um, important ingredient in the skin that's going to give it its plumpness and its firmness. So a lot of our tools and different things that we have, they're all about improving that collagen. When we start to see collagen depleting is when people go in and start getting injections that put plumpers into the skin and whatnot. That's because they're reacting to that loss of collagen and they're wanting that plump, juicy look in the skin. Now, I have used a lot of ingredients over the years that really help um, protect and keep my collagen level high. So I have pretty plump, a pretty nice plump layer of collagen on my skin, but yet I'm still seeing something going on. So I dove in deeper and what the other important thing, and we often see it listed on skincare products that a product will boost your collagen and elasticity. So I started going, okay, really I need to dive in here and really understand what is happening with that collagen and elasticity. And that is really, as I studied that, I began to realize that is really the key to understand what, understanding what is going on with the tissues in this neck area. So we're wanting the collagen because that's what's going to give the tissue the plumpness, but we're also wanting elasticity. Elasticity is that fiber that is a kind of elastic fiber that coils and uncoils, and it's what gives your skin that rebounding effect. Think of an elastic rubber band, you stretch it out and it pulls back. So in that neck area, if you squeeze up the skin here and you pinch it, the elasticity is what draws it back into the proper position. Again, it's the same with the area around your mouth and your lips. So when we squinch up, pout and pucker our mouths, we need the elasticity that when we relax the mouth, those muscles and those lines relax back out and the wrinkles relax and they're gone when you relax your face. So elasticity is a very important part of our skin health. And without elasticity, the pores will start to look droopy, the face will look a little droopy. Now, if you are younger than I am, if you are under 50 and you feel like you're seeing a loss of elasticity, it could be that you are, and you could be seeing some sun damage, but most likely, and the place I would start if you're under 40, uh, or even 45 and under, is probably that you need water. Water is an important thing for keeping that rebounding and elasticity in the skin as well. So, but if you're um, like me, you're getting up into your 50s, I'm 57, and you're seeing this loss of elasticity in here and you're drinking water like crazy, then it could be that you, it most likely is that you are also needing to feed yourself some things so that your body can create more elastin and have more elasticity and begin to repair that damage. So what kind of foods do you need to eat? In order to improve the elasticity of your skin, you need to eat greens. You need to eat um, salty fish, uh, no, fatty fish, <laughs> salty, but salt helps the fatty fish go down, but anchovies, sardines, you have fatty fish, citrus fruits, broccoli, almonds, and walnuts 
all help to repair that damage and elasticity to your skin. So my husband and I, we usually share a big bag of kale or Swiss chard every night. We're either eating it fresh and raw or we are steaming it or sauteing it. We're just making sure that we have healthy greens in our diet every evening. If it's not kale or chard, then we're gonna get in there the broccoli, um, things like that, um, beet greens, anything, mustard greens, all of those things need to be in our diet every day. The anchovies, some people love them. They go, yeah, I wanna eat more anchovies. Some people are like, oh man, how am I gonna do that? Well, mixing anchovies with lemon, which is that citrus that's good for your elasticity, um, mixing it with lemon, uh, putting it into a spaghetti sauce, or we often like to make a, a kind of a, a dressing that we put on our broccoli that has a lot of garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil, and serve up, um, serve that up with our broccoli, coating our broccoli, that makes those anchovies go down really well. So um, the nuts, the walnuts, roasting those and serving them in your salads, um, they are also good roasted and served up with your broccoli and anchovies and all of that. That can be pretty yummy. And almonds, switching over to almond butter from peanut butter because almond butter is so much better for you, or almond milk is so good for you. Those are all things that are gonna help your body to repair that loss of elasticity. The next thing that I've learned and it, I know is so important is that you use your serums. Use, especially your vitamin C serum, use it from the top all the way down, all the way down the chest. Now in Europe, they, they consider a facial is all the way down to your breast. So, you know, all of this is so important to your beauty and your radiance. So applying that vitamin C serum all the way down, I'm having shorter hair again, so I'm even making sure that I get the back of my neck with that because the back of the neck is part of that firmness and elasticity of the front of the neck. So keeping the back of the neck healthy is as important as the front of the neck. So really applying that vitamin C serum all over. And then this year I've been testing out a new product Super excited about it. I did some, uh, as I'm looking at my neck and seeing that I was getting some pooling in this area, and I wish I'd taken pictures. I'm really bad at taking my own before and after pictures. But I noticed a difference after three days of using this product. This is, is clinical, and it's the Neck Perfect Complex. Is Clinical Neck Perfect Complex. I'm using it morning and night over the vitamin C serum. And within three days, I noticed a difference in the pooling of the skin right in here. It was much firmer. And the neat thing about this cream is that it does give you that immediate effect that all of us want, but it's also giving us long-term effects. So it takes five weeks for those skin cells, new skin cells to rise up to the surface. So know that five to eight weeks after you start this cream, you're gonna see even more improvements that continue to build after that. So you will see some initial change and that's fabulous, but then you will continue to see long lasting change as long as you keep using your product. You're gonna keep feeding those cells deep within and that new firmer, more elastic tissue is going to rise to the surface. So I'm super excited about this cream. Sometimes when I see, oh, I don't know, the other day I was watching someone speak on TV and she's a beautiful woman, but I could see her neck had a little pulling eyes. She's like, oh, I wanna mail her <laughs> a bottle of this Neck Perfect. I want everyone to have it and try it because it just really lends to the beauty of your entire face when you have that um, beautiful skin on the neck as well. So that's my beauty tips for you today on elastin and maintaining a firm, beautiful, glowing neck and jawline. I hope you have a wonderful day.